Luke here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, and I'm all by myself camping without a tent in the wilderness of Alaska. And this is a great opportunity for me to test a theory I've heard many times. So we're gonna find out whether heating up hot rocks can keep you warm in the winter time. Check this out. If I'm not mistaken, that's a bit of porcupine. You can see the little quills right there. Porcupines are tasty if you can get past the quills and looks like something did. This seems like a nice spot to camp. I think I better go find myself some wood to build a shelter. I need to find at least eight dead trees about this size. That shouldn't be too hard. There's one. I wanna use dead trees for my shelter, not just because it's good for the environment, but they're lighter to carry and they cut easier and then the leftover pieces make better firewood. Oh, there's a good one right there. Oh, there's two good ones. Luckily, there's lots of standing dead wood here. We have a beetle infestation here in Alaska. That's a lot of work. You sink a lot further down in the snow when you have a log on your shoulders. I'm hauling all the small logs first to try to beat a path so that when I haul the big logs, I don't sink down in the snow as much. Oh, it wasn't easy, but I did it. I gotta tell you what guys, I'm in love with these boa bindings on these tub snowshoes. You can get them on and off so quick, even with your gloves on, even when they're covered in ice, it makes a massive difference. Well, next step, I need to pick a campsite. I need to make sure it's strong enough. Yeah, that's good. It 
See all the marks under the bark? It's from a Japanese spruce bark beetle. That's what killed the tree. So it probably killed all of these trees. Well, I've got about 90% of my shelter done, but the sun's gonna set here in a few minutes, so I need to stop what I'm doing and go get some more firewood. Uh, so I better hurry up and get everything gathered around the camp while I still have some light to see by. Oh, I gotta get this fire lit and everything is wet. I got one of these little Zips fire lighters. These things are awesome. You can start them with a ferrous rod even if they're wet. So hopefully this will be enough to get this wet wood started. burning slowly but it's burning I'm gonna put my bed and shelter right there and the fire there that way the smoke's blowing away from me and not blowing into my shelter All right, we gotta get some river rocks now. Oh, boy, that's a fat one. Oh. Now, I know a lot of people say that if you put river rocks in a fire, they'll explode. Yeah. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But uh, we'll see what happens. Well, I got my shelter up, including my uh, cot here. It's a bit fidgety, but man, once you get it up, it is so comfortable. It is very warm in here, and I've got a place to sit, and I'm not getting rained on, and the wind's not on me. Pretty nice. 
But I think it's time to start making some dinner. I am hungry. Nice cup of spiced orange herbal tea with a load of sugar in it. It's the first calories I've had all day. <sighs> that hits the spot. To get, I got a big slab of pork jowl bacon. I'm gonna chop this up and we're gonna make a stew out of it tonight. A big jar of seasonings for the stew here. This has got vinegar, salt, pepper, chili powder, mustard, dill, oregano, and a whole bunch of other things. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that is a good looking stew right there. Yes, I will take some of that. Oh, that's good. All that melted bacon fat mixed in with the vinegar. It's just sweet and savory and tangy. It's good. It's getting cold. Gotta bundle up a little bit here. The Morning Chronicle says he's going a step further, went on Hornblower. Oh, that was good. Time to do the dishes. <sighs> Gonna stack up these rocks. Make sure they're all nice and toasty. Those piled up nicely. Well, now that I got dinner out of the way, I'm gonna get breakfast started. I got some bread flour here, and I'm gonna make some bread dough. If I get it started now, it'll be nice and ready to cook with tomorrow morning. All right, got some yeast and sugar here. Add a little water. All right, I'll just put it somewhere where it doesn't freeze and then the yeast will do its thing and we'll have bread dough in the morning. I decided to get ready for bed and I went to go pull out my sleeping pad and it's not in my bag. I had it clipped to the outside and uh, it's gone. I think it fell off sometime when I was in the sled. So we're gonna go see if we can go find it before the snow buries it too much. Check it out! Yay! Thank goodness! Somebody put it on the truck. They must have found it on the trail and realized it belonged to me since I'm the only truck at the trailhead. Thank goodness for good honest people. I'm gonna sleep a lot warmer tonight because of them. I made it back, but I am pretty wet. Oh, I was getting pretty worried there. I'm really glad I found that. Oh, my mat is wet, and I'm glad to have it. When I do this bushcraft cot, I often slide my mat in between the two layers there, but uh, there's a bit of water underneath this. And I don't want to get my down bag wet. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and stick this on top of my cot. See if that keeps me out of the water a little bit better. There you go, got my bed made up and the fort buttoned down as best I can. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with my rocks. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Big one too. There you go, the hot rocks are doing their job. You can start to see steam coming off the cot. Awesome. There you go, I want, I want dry firewood in the morning. Try to cover up my coals as best I can. So hopefully I'll have some dry warm coals in the morning. Got my logs and coals buried in hot rocks, so hopefully those will stay dry until the morning. It's time for me to get to sleep. I'm gonna turn off the camera. I'll see you guys in the morning, okay? thing that can tempt me out of this warm sleeping bag is the thought of breakfast. I really want breakfast. Now my socks were a little bit wet last night. I just took them off and put them in the bottom of my sleeping bag and they're all nice and dry and warm. It's a nice thing to wake up to. Got a fair amount of snow last night. Had about three inches of snow last night before I went to bed. And it looks like we picked up another half inch or so while I was asleep. Let's see how our rocks did in protecting our fire. I don't see any embers. I still feel a little bit of heat down here. I think we might be able to get this fire started if we use a lot of tinder. Uh, oops, that's, that's all I got. <laughs> That's, that's not going to cut it. All right. They put a little gasoline in a little bowl right there. When you pour gasoline on a fire, it kind of spreads out and goes out really quick. If you can put it in a little jar or something, it'll keep the flame going for a long time. Oh, look at that, the sunrise, yay. It's been a twilight for like an hour and a half. We get very long sunrises and sunsets up north. While that bread cooks, I've got a little jar of honey and butter I've sat by the fire. It's getting all nice and melty. Yeah, that's going to be wonderful. I got the rest of this pork gel bacon I'm going to fry up to go with my flatbread. Oh yeah. Bacon fat, melted butter, honey, mm. carb, sugar, and fat. The three best tasting things on a camp out. Mm. I'm so covered in butter and grease. It's wonderful. Oh, oh that was a delicious breakfast, but uh, now that I got a full belly, I think I need to clean up. All right.
right, I know a lot of you guys are wondering about the rocks. How did they do? Well, the, every one of them is stone cold, no pun intended. Those rocks were honestly not very useful. They kept the bed warm for about 30, 40 minutes, and after that, you just really couldn't tell they were even there. Likewise, the stones I piled up on the fire were cold within a few hours of the fire going out. Without insulation, a hot rock won't stay warm very long, even in mild winter conditions like this. Oh, what a beautiful campsite. But it's time to go home. It's starting rough. I'm no expert, but that looks like my choke is messed up. Yeah, that's, that's not good. All right, I don't know what I did, but I did it. Well, that's why you always bring snowshoes. That thing don't start in the morning, you're walking home. I made it back to the truck, but I can't get inside. The locks are frozen. All right, gotta go old school. Whoa, there we go. Aha, that's why they call me hot lips. Nobody calls me that. Oh, well that was fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you wanna see more camping videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, make sure to see our camping adventure playlist. If you wanna see our more hardcore survival videos, check out our survival camping playlist. And don't forget to click subscribe because we put out new videos every Saturday morning. We'll see you guys then. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.